we are loaded up at least with the trailer uh, I got on the road last night got about four hours of driving we're just outside of Wheeling West Virginia slash Pittsburgh area we're still headed east for another four and a half hours out to Reading PA out near Philadelphia I guess so picking up a pretty cool one today guys stay tuned uh, first one I've owned so it's a big block a little hint there but uh take a look at it in a little bit guys getting up early drove till about 1 a.m last night okay guys we're doing final stretch to get this car so we drove approximately eight eight and a half nine hours you I know mean, obviously made stops in the hotel and stuff so hoping this car is uh as nice as it looked in the pictures and the description really rare 69 beaumont convertible uh, it's got a big block in it uh, so pretty cool car console buckets so let's check this car out and see what it looks like hopefully it's straight down the sides check the frame and the floor is real good stay with us we'll check it out hey guys here it is the beaumont some people call it the chevelle canadian chevelle some people I think it's more of a Pontiac. Bucket seats. It's got the uh, Pontiac GTO dash. Convertible. 396. It's got the ghost stripes on it. Door's not closed all the way. Let me see what's cool about these cars. The little maple leaf on the uh it's got them a little bit of hidden all over the place got them even on the headlights here but chevelle body it's got that gto front end sd 396 I'll show you the motor Check out the video, guys. We'll load it up and we'll get it back to Kentucky. Really cool driver. Okay, guys, we made it home. That was a long, long trip. It doesn't, hour-wise, it didn't seem like it, but, man, it just felt like it took forever to get home. So, got it unloaded. We're we'll, going to pull it in the garage, take some time off. I'll show you what's kind of cool. You know, these bezels are one-offs. So I'll have to get them re -chromed. They're not perfect. I'll probably, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the wheels. Keep the Kragers, go to rallies, or go to the uh, SS wheel that they had in 69. Very happy with the car. Fires right up. Took it down the street once. Sounded good. It's all dusty and dirty from the uh, drive, but it's cool. You won't see another one. So probably wash it up and then uh, pull it in, put a cover on it, and then start messing around with it, see what I want to switch up. But got home safe. Car looks good. And uh, we'll do some more videos of this car, especially when we start updating. I'm going to detail the motor and do some other things to it. Um, but overall, pretty happy with it so far. Thanks for checking out the videos.